Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable tracing to capture the MDX query generated by Power BI when you are connected to SAP BW uh, as the data source. Now on the screen here are some of the uh, error messages you might have come across when using a SAP BW connector. And when you share this error uh, message with your SAP team, Typically, they ask you for more details in terms of a log file or a query that is um, uh, returning this error. So here is how you would uh, get the MDX query that is generated by Power BI. Now, the first thing you would do is um, uh, edit your, create a system variable. So uh, I just type in edit in my Windows bar here, go to system variables go to environment variables and in system variables section i'll create a new variable and this variable name should be uh, pbi uppercase underscore enable with e uppercase and sap with s uppercase bw with b uppercase and tracing with t uppercase just like how you see on the screen and then set this value to true and click OK. Now I've already set this uh, variable, so I'm not going to uh, click OK on this, but uh, you would click OK uh, and uh, click OK on the rest of the screens. Now you have created a special uh, variable which, uh, uh, which helps capture the um, MDX query that is generated. The next thing uh, you want to do is um, uh, go to File, um, Options and Settings, Options, and once the dialog opens, go to Diagnostics and enable Trace here. And you can also uh, open up the uh, Trace folder, right? Um, now, I have, since I had set this variable to true, I have this SAP BW folder, but if you're doing it for the first time, you will not see this SAP BW folder until you go back to your uh, Power BI and use Get Data. Uh, and uh, once it shows up, uh, create a connection to your uh, either B BW application server or message server, create a connection. And once you've done that, uh, and go uh, if you go back to your uh, the trace folder, you'll see uh, SAP BW uh, folder created. Now, uh, all, your, all the MDX that is generated uh, from Power BI is being logged in this uh, SAP BW folder. Uh, you can, uh, if you run into any error message, you can open up this folder and uh, you can sort by type. Uh, and if I scroll down, you'll see these uh, MDX uh, files that are created. Uh, you can, uh, so if you open any of these, uh, like I've opened a couple of them here, uh, this is the MDX that is generated by uh, Power BI. And here's a couple of smaller ones. This is one of the larger ones. So now this will give you access to the MDX uh, statement that Power BI generates and uh, is basically using to query SAP PW. So uh, either you can share this uh, uh, query with your um, uh, SAP team, or you can open up uh, SAP GUI uh, and using T code MDX test, uh, it opens up an MDX um, window for you and you can paste this uh, uh, query into that MDX window, execute it, and you will get a much more detailed uh, error message compared to what you see, uh, what Power BI exposes. And hopefully this will help uh, you uh, working through the issue and uh, resolving the error message that you see. Now, uh, typically uh, most, in like these error messages, the first one, this is most likely because of some kind of memory issues. The second one, object reference not found. Typically I see that this error message when um, some RFC is not enabled. Um, uh, so you know, th those are the common things I've found with when I, you know, from my experience with this connector. Uh, so something to something you would have to work with your SAP team to resolve and work through it. Um, now once you're done uh, working through this uh, issue and figuring out what's happening, uh, make sure you go back to your system variables uh, and. Uh, set the variable, the PBI uh, variable to false. Uh, so I go back to environment variables and uh, this is the variable we uh, we set to true. 
go back go to edit and make sure you set this to false otherwise every time as you're working through uh, your power bi reports uh, you you'll be uh, everything will be logged and your log uh, and your um, uh, since there'll be a lot of logging your the performance of power bi will be slow and um, so it's ideal if you set this to false one year once you work through this uh, issue all right uh, so that's it for today hope this uh, is good information and uh, helps you if you got any uh, comments leave them below if not have a good day thank you